How hot is it going to be on Wednesday? High temperatures on Wednesday will be around 77 degrees. Hello and welcome to another voice attack profile demonstration video. If you're not familiar with voice attack, check out the link in the description below. Voice attack is a program that lets us design our own voice commands and have them perform actions when the command phrase is recognized. It can be key presses in games, or controlling recording or streaming software, and along with so much more, it can also reply to us with text-to-speech, and finally we can package these profiles to share them with anyone. Voice sensors and weather is a question and answer profile that replies to our questions about PC sensors, the local weather outside, local weather forecasts, and even indoor weather when using an external temperature sensor connected over USB. This is the second AVCS Utility Voice Command profile by Semler PDX, alongside the Voice Calculator and Conversions profile for Voice Attack. Local outdoor weather voice commands are made available through connection to the Open Weather API, and this public AVCS Sense project has its own access key for all users of this profile. When weather monitoring is on, new weather information is checked periodically based on user settings and set to text variables which Voice Attack can return on command through text-to-speech replies. New 7-day weather forecast data is gathered once a day, with options to adjust this all the way down to hourly when users enter their own Open Weather API access key. Computer sensor voice commands are made available when running the IDA64 Extreme Sensor Monitoring Program through the Shared Memory option for external applications under the Program Preferences. This program is required in order to use any internal PC sensor commands, reports, or diagnostics. AVCS Sense reads individual sensor data directly from active memory every few seconds, without ever logging anything to file. These values are averaged out and read back through text-to-speech replies on command for individual sensors, or as part of a group of all sensors in a report or diagnostic command such as, all sensors, or all CPU sensors, or all graphics card sensors. Indoor weather voice commands are only available when an external temperature and humidity sensor is connected by USB to the computer. This AVCS DHT1 sensor is an Arduino-powered device designed with a DHT11 sensor in a small enclosure that sticks to the side of a PC case magnetically. A DIY build guide is available for anyone wanting to make one of these devices for themselves, or users can also buy one designed and built according to that same guide on the VG store. Another feature unlocked by the AVCS DHT1 is computer sensor diagnostics. Diagnostics voice commands are unlocked when using both IDA64 Extreme and an AVCS DHT1 sensor. With these, all PC temperature sensor values in text-to-speech replies will be set in degrees over ambient or a delta T over ambient as you may hear it called in analysis and testing videos. This is the true means to understand what computer sensors for temperature are reporting at any given time by first accounting for the temperature of the room. Using a simple algorithm, this allows AVCS Sense to identify and flag atypical sensor values as compared to sensor baselines previously established and saved to file. On first-time use only, the AVCS Sense main menu will pop up, allowing users to become familiar with the central control panel used in this profile for setting several user-specific options from location for local weather reports to profile update notification options, as well as user guides for quick reference to key topics covered in the profile wiki page, and helpful buttons for testing the included systems at the core of AVCS Sense. This profile is also able to check for any updates that may have been released, which could include bug fixes, new features or commands, or even simple optimizations and typo corrections. Before starting sensor monitoring or weather monitoring for the first time, please take a moment to open the options menu and review sensors options, weather options, and profile options. Many options are set by default, such as units used for text-to-speech replies for temperature or wind speed, and even the city will be set by default to New York City until changed. Sensor monitoring through IDA64 requires setup, detailed on the profile wiki page, and in the user guides inside the AVCS Sense Profile menu. As shown in many pages of the menu, just say, open the sensor menu, to return to this panel anytime. To review the voice command's quick reference guide, just say, open the sensor command reference. Each of these have a link to the profile wiki page where you will find complete information and instructions for setup and advanced profile options, as well as other links for help and support. Text-to-speech has really come a long way since the early days of computers, and voice attack is a great way to make use of it for some awesome tools like this voice sensors and weather profile. 
This entire video was voiced by an advanced cognitive speech engine demonstration reading a script written by Semler PDX, just to show off how amazing and accessible this technology is today. Download this profile using the link in the video description below, and if you found this project interesting, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and check back for more voice attack projects soon. Well done, Malcolm. Indeed.